His birth name is not Valmiki. Lot of great souls change their name later. I was talking about Valmiki. <laughs> Valmiki in essence means ant hill. At least the story goes. And any story about Valmiki is what Valmiki himself wrote. In fact, in many ways, he was not only the first poet, he was the first person who wrote autobiography. Because he is a character in Ramayana himself. So he placed himself in a story. So it was also the first autobiography. And there he is trying to tell you how he was in penance with an unwavering mind that an anthill was built around him and he didn't even know it. Again, unspoken message saying if you have to attain those highest of consciousness, if you have to attain those divine powers that can manifest through you even though you are embodied, a very ordinary life. Yet when you develop the power of focus, the power of concentration, the power of steadfastness, the power of single-minded devotion, take up something, you should be able to give yourself so completely to it. So Vivekananda had a much simpler expression to it when he said, take up one idea and give all yourself to that one idea and see what you achieve in a lifetime. He anticipated somewhere in 2019 the world will be so distracted by social media they will have focus on nothing. Everything will be multitasking. Nothing will be single minded focus. And showed you through characterization saying that even though I was born like everybody else, lived like everybody else, a very ordinary life. But when I developed only one ability the power of focus, the power of concentration, the power of single-minded devotion. So steadfast that nothing could distract me to what I was focusing on. Metaphorically saying that so single-minded that an anthill was building around me and even that I didn't realize. Essentially saying that that blessing does not come from outside. You attain that state. If you have such concentration, such focus and such single-mindedness, you leave all yourself to a level of consciousness that you leave all the divine powers, no other possibility but to unfold through you, express through you.